after gaining a huge victory. Huge victories last week in the first ever matches. Andy and Blade are ready to square off against each other. And remember, Andy very dominating performance over Aswail, where they both had the uh, the boos, respectful the boos. And Blade has his debut against Il the veteran Ilya Dragunov. And Legend Killer for some reason distracted Ilya Dragunov, so the Red Dragon got distracted and Blade took advantage. And yeah, from then on. You can't say that Legend Killer made ensured that Blade win for unknown reasons. We saw Legend Killer earlier tonight had his victory over Zero after the match. He had Dragon of tried to stop Killer but was unable to do it. But now we focus on this match. And we also saw what the that was our NXT champion, uh, Desimon Senior, did to Simacy Satcher in the backstage area. We saw Kaylee Way getting some sort of revenge on Sue Cox in the backstage area after months and weeks and months of frustration and cheap shots from Sue Cox. The current NXT UK Women Champion who took the title from Kaylee Way. Back on our first pay per view. As Andy got cheered by the crowd, he definitely earned the respect from the universe after his phenomenal debut last week over Aswell. Can't put it any other way. It was an incredible debut by this young man. And hopefully we would see the same a similar performance here tonight against Blade. In both of their second matches, like I said, both won their debut match last week. So maybe tonight is the night where one of these two men will have their first loss in just ha in just competing twice, you know. But that's how it is, you know. But he looks very confident and very ready for a fight and very happy as well. And I'm happy as well. Because we see so many highlights, so many great moments, so much great storytelling so far and we just got started guys. We're not far in this project. So that's what I like to see. As there comes Blade, like booed by the crowd. And there comes Blade. One of the most competitive matches we've As he marched down to the long. ring, of course, came boot from the crowd. He screwed his way last win the way last week of sheep shot and half from Legend Killer over Ilya Dragunov. So the crowd doesn't like him one bit. And why should they? But Blade doesn't seem to care, he enjoys the hate it seems. As the fans chanting NXT, NXT, as Blade looks ready about this Andy as those two brawler fight it up. We've come for the bad match on the way. What a huge big boot almost took on his head off immediately from Blade here. As Blade now with knees and strikes on Andy and kicks as well as Andy can find any answer so far from this offense backhand fist as well. Andy now fighting back with a left hook. And now the strikes from Andy, the lefts, their hip toss, and you talk of his agility, what a knee as he celebrates himself for a moment there. Wow. And as he so should, uppercuts there as well, left and right, super kick or blocked by Blade, however, and face buster knee smash. And well on face and he was face buster knee smash, and now Blade knees to the mid section. And then this but been known what a big boot takes on Andy yet again here. As Blade now with kicks there to the legs and the knee to the face of Andy. Face buster Nishmas yes again as the court gets more and more upset about Blade's so, yeah, offense here. As Blade himself Andy way once. Andy with the reversal though. Going to the ropes, hit him with a right hook springboard right hook, I think. Wow! I never saw something like that. As attacking the legs now of Blade as Andy. As what is this all about? It's Aswail who Andy defeated last week. Wow! Last week he got defeated by Andy and he's a sore loser. Distracting Andy Blade from behind, attacking him with a right, hit him in the face with a super kick. And now it could be all over. A huge big boot. And it could be all over for Andy here because of this. 
the stretch, wet plate, the stretch from Aswell, what a sore loser, what a neck breaker from Blade. There's no Blade. Tries to have Andy where he wants him, no. Andy fighting back with kicks to the legs, come on Andy. That's what a right, end of days, end of days. He hits it, in the cover, can he get it? One, two, three, he got it, no he didn't. Blade kicked out at the last possible moment, are you kidding me? As Andy with a big splash after going into the ropes. Wow, that even still in this match despite this distraction and seems to be a numbers game by Aswell here. As Andy climbed to the top, can he deliver? What a moonsault. Perfectly executed as Cole losing his mind on Sandy. So he's looking for another splash and he hits it. As Ken Blade gets back in this thing despite letting it look better for him as for Andy. But Andy can't be stopped here tonight it seems. Look at the punches there to Blade. I mean even with two people so far Andy can't be stopped. Try to block there the next move but he got booted right in the face. But he awaited the right, the right hook there from Blade or he or Andy just moved out of the way or something. What, whatever or Blade just missed a TKO from Andy in the cover but nope. Not even two. As Blade kicking out, what a good match so far, despite Aswell's appearance and distraction. As a kick to the head of a Blade there, as Andy tried to be looking for something big, but Blade with the reversal here. Turning the tables in this matchup yet again, drop kick to the back of Andy. Andy about to get back to his feet, Blade waiting, hit him with a right kick there, as he tries. To wait for his spear, he hits it, it could be all over. Not like this. One, two, three. And he kicked out. I can't believe it. I thought that would be it for sure. But no, it's not. As the fans chanting, and D, and D. That's what they're chanting here. And understandably so. Blade tripping him in the corner. With so much that Andy collapsed there, tried to kill him with strikes, but Andy not go, going down without a fight. The, the shout out to Blade, and now looking for Black Mass. Hits it, yes he does. And now he needs to only drag Blade away from the ropes perhaps. Maybe this will be it after that shot. Right in the face, could be all over for Blade, will it be the case? The one, two, three it is, and he wins it despite the odds. As Asway was upset about it, he thought he could have Blade because he lost last week to Andy. Look at this astonishing end of days there once again. Then we have this miss from Blade and maybe that was the, that was a mistake that uh, got Andy the win, that TKO from Andy and the cover. Then we had the spear from Blade and I thought this could be it, this could, it has to be it. Another look at the spear, but why don't we see the finishing uh, blow there with the black mask from Andy, I'm surprised. But anyways, he celebrate, and understandably so. There was an incredible win over Blade here tonight. Despite the odds, Andy wins again and heading Blade the, uh, the first loss in the second match for Blade. But for Andy, it's 2-0. and oh. Very impressive so far. We will see how this... Uh, so his career will keep going with those, with those confidence. I mean, he got two huge victories so far in his first ever two, first two matches. So keep it going, man. Keep it going. <laughs> As we are even, not even close of being done with the show, we just got started. And wow, with that bang of a match, I'm hungry for more. Hello, guys, and welcome to the seems to be interesting women's match between the Dakota Kai and Mandy Rose of course with their teammates Raquel Gonzalez and Dana Brooke by their side don't forget Raquel took the title of Mandy Rose and um, Dakota then helped her against the numbers gain of Mandy and Dana and now we uh, keep going with this great match it seems a fantastic match here that it is you know <laughs> Understandably, Byron.
Yes, she sure does. She sure does, Corey. But now she's turning a new leaf into her career by helping out former best friend and former teammate Raquel Gonzalez against Mandy and Dana. Look at the look of Kato's face as Mandy approaches the stage for NXT Women's Champion for such a for, for a very long time. Accompanied by Dana Brooke from Yorktown Heights, New York. Mandy. And how great it is for Mandy to return, made her return to NXT and becoming the NXT Women's Champion. And since then, she's defending the title time. She's defended the title time and time again. But last pay-per-view, she uh, she finally lost the title to Raquel in the minds of the WWE Universe and many, 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 many uh, members of the women's locker room. But some of them might be just jealous about Manny's accomplishment. Who knows? She's a very gifted athlete. You don't have to like her, but you have to respect her attributes and her talent. Very, very talented as many roles. But same can be said about the Koda Kai. Don't take anything away from Koda. Who should be an NXT Women's Champion, in, in my opinion, already. But unfortunately, she never became the NXT Women's Champion. Now, Wefcon for the bell. As Koda with kicks to Manny there. For the lack of Manny. Look at this. Woodless striking from a Koda Kai. Neck breaker. What a strike there from Cola. Oh, Mandy answering with right of her own. Mandy swooping on the rope, but finding an end to it. I don't know what the plan was, but off clear execute. Cakes from Cola. Standard try to, try to distract uh, Cola there. I think. But reverse it from Mandy Rose. But pin from Cola will be enough to put Mandy away. One. Almost surprised Manny, surprised the hell out of me, just going for the cover right there and then and there. As Dana once again tried to distract Coda here, but didn't pay it off. Then got a foot stomp there from Coda. It's Manny, tried to run away, but Coda catching her. Take down into a leg kick, uh, into a, a kick to the chest there. Not a leg kick, sorry. As Coda feel very confident, using the crowd support to advantage there. You newly found the crowd support. What kicks there from Coda, very dangerous. That Mandy and down and out on the ropes for a moment, but what a close end for Mandy. Can she come back in the thing? For Mandy, she won't champion Mandy Rose. It's Coda fighting back, but get distracted by Dana. This time it paid off, but it couldn't allow Mandy to get back in the thing because Coda so smart, so focused. What a backbreak, and she knows about no stranger about dirty tactics, despite Dana trying to distract Ma uh, Coda to get Mandy somehow um, back in this thing. But Raquel has seen enough of the co of Dana Brooke bringing her inside the ring. And now I think the fight's been on. As a ref hopefully doesn't lose it as Coda. As Raquel staying in the way of a friend of a teammate by accident. Even though she had good intentions. But it could be a downfall here. By Raquel here. And for Mandy. Had ejected Coda on the cover with no count one. Will this be enough of the signature maneuver? No, it's not. It's not as the ref also ejects Raquel as well, I think. I think both Dana Brooke and Raquel have been ejected. And now both leaving the ring. As Mandy takes control after Raquel yeah, accidentally might cost her a friend. But nope, nobody home in the corner there as Mandy can lift it up for Dead Nation Kick. It could be all over. Could be a huge victory for Koda Kai. But will it be enough? The ropes are inches away from Mandy. One, two, three. The ropes! Mandy had the ropes! The ref didn't saw it! The ref didn't saw it! Mandy was, uh, had a hand on the ropes, but the ref didn't saw it and counted the three for Coda. Wow! What a. But really was a great match. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a bad match, but the ending was very, very bad. I mean, I wish it would go longer, and it would have been longer if the ref, for once, paid attention 
to this matchup because Mandy had her hands on the rope and no matter if you like Mandy or not she had to she, that wasn't a fair loss to her I mean she had her hand on the rope rather than saw it and well we have to continue with the action Next up guys we have, Ra guys, we have Raquel Gonzalez versus Dana Brooke and hopefully the ref um, pays a bit more attention as she did in the last match. I mean seriously, Mandy had her hand on the rope, ref didn't saw it, count, corner, count to three, Kota got the huge W but it shouldn't have been a W. The match should have been continued but the ref didn't, wasn't at his best there. Yeah? And sure, he can do mistakes, but in my mind, it cost all of us a potentially great match in this case. And that's what I dis don't like about it. As there comes the NXT Women Champion, Raquel Gonzalez. As Big Mommy Cool marches down to the ring. So much confidence. She became NXT Women's Champion. She handed Io Shirai her first singles pinfall loss in nearly two years. Two time NXT Women's Champion. One time NXT Women's Tag Team Champion alongside the Kodakai. So Big Mommy Cool feels confident like she should. And she's ready for a fight. And she get one. With Dana Brooke. How good it felt for had to feel for Raquel to get a payback on both Manda and Dani when she took the uh, Manda and uh, Mandy and Dana when she took the title of Mandy at the last pay, at the first, our first pay per view. So here comes Dana Brooke at boot from the crowd. But celebrate herself as much as she celebrates her teammate. There comes Dana. I like a theme song. Way, way cool Antoine song. And Dana now doing what's good for her. And in her mind it's good to have this turn against the universe and alongside herself, a former teammate and former friend, Mandy Rose. Perhaps they nev for, never lost a friendship. Our team spirit, you know, who knows. And now she seems to be a huge part here of our show at NXT as well. And also don't forget this one this is not our main event. We have still matches to come and our main event will be a banger. We will see the women's tag team champions in action. Against the new alliance. We have come for the bad match on the way. <laughs> we got start with a bulldog from Dana to Raquel there. Stena gets the battle of our champion in the early goings here, but oh, it's both too soon. Look at this. So I can't climb to the top trying to fly. Stena wants away from her. Nothing to do with her. Fake out with whip. Do you chip those? Eh? Surprised that she crowns Raquel with this one. Got in the corner. Has been able no nobody home as many tried to distract Raquel I think, but. And I can look at this unique offense there. Clothesline finds it's Mark, shot him clothesline, and another shot him Lariat there. As many tried to distract her, but much like her teammate did earlier in this quarter match, didn't work out. Elbow drop from Raquel, but easily for Dana to get out of this situation. Maybe too cocky for more champion. Bullock, but understandably the confidence, you know. Forearm there from Dana, big boot, too much like the dislike of the crowd there. Above the former Kel, but champions in, con in control the whole time here. Despite the one or two moves there, what a fight to the face there. Going to the second ropes, can she fly on the ch on the opponent? On the challenger's best friend with the moonshot, yes she does, and she feel confident. Or maybe she doesn't underestimate Dana after that splash. Help her mad slam as Dana celebrates and mocks Raquel. But huge mistake on both sides there, in my opinion. And it's McLuffin on the face and here there. Jumping on the second rope yet again. What a moonsault. That is good. 
put an end to this one already. And for submission, there's a cap on the pressure on as well. How long can you be, can uh, Dana sustain in this? Or I have no idea. Is Dana fighting out the fighter that she is? Apple Matt slam on her. As we see the uh, reaction of uh, Koda, who got a huge victory over Mandy earlier tonight, despite the ref's uh, shit. That's what an elbow there, the athleticism of Dana Brooke there. Bulldog. Now dragging Raquel away from the middle. I don't know what's this all about. No stomping her. So I can't move out of the way. Hit her with a huge big boot. And Mandy with the distraction. Mandy with the distraction. But Raquel didn't pay it for it too long. But maybe it was too long enough for Dana to get back in the thing. Maybe it spoke too soon as so Raquel with the reversal here. Now lifting. Dana up, back breaker there. What a back breaker from Raquel there. As Kota now on the run, she's seen enough of Mandy. Get involved in the action. Mandy and Raquel will face each other at the next takeover. We know what's with Dana and Kota though. What a back breaker there from Raquel. Stretching Dana there. As Kota tried to get better of Mandy there. She doesn't. While her back there, Kota get the better of Mandy. As the ref ejects both women, I think both Manda and Kota. I think. As Raquel going to finish this thing with the Tijana bomb. She doesn't. She doesn't, but the ropes are right there. The rope break. Rope break put an end to this attempt. As now Raquel's submission move. It's been in as both. Indeed, Kota and the Mandy are ejected from ringside. Can man, can they not somehow stay in this hold any longer? I mean, she's been a long time in the submission, or does she first have been tapped out? Or she's still fighting? Can she get out there though? Can she get out of this hold though? Yes, she does. Just like making it look easy though. Tiptoes there in the end, but it wasn't easy. Form into the back, kick to the midsection, and for a neck breaker. Dana Brooke looking for her moment, lifting her up, and down, what a driver there, but Dana doesn't finish, for a champion, down for a champion with strikes to Raquel here, to the dislike of the crowd, and sent elbow into the back there, now Dana's losing it. So I bring herself to the dislike of the entire crowd here, tied to the, the universe. So I can't get back in this thing, huge big boot. Almost took Dana's head off. Can the champion stay strong in this thing, kick to the midsection. Looking for another big move, looking for the Goey special. Goey Sebastian submission is locked in painfully, painfully executed. Will Dana tap out though? Yes, she does. She taps. Raquel wins this. The champ stays strong here tonight. And this time there was no full play from the official. Well deserved victory for Raquel. For Big Mommy. Cool. It's not you idiot. As that comes. Koda? What's Koda here for? What the hell is that? <laughs> but the chanting handshake. The friendship. The team spirit is back after all the weeks. Celebrating themselves. Wow, huge sportsmanship there. And maybe the hatred, the black blood between those two is gone. Wow. I like I like to see them two back together as friends and teammates, perhaps. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We will see as we uh, just uh, wanna. <laughs> we're just. Uh, on this two week Sunday, we see. Uh, next week Sunday, we have our pay-per-view this week Sunday we have Extreme Rules but we're not done yet with our show we have still two matches I think still to come and one of them will be our incredible main event